Hello, welcome to the video on parallel lines and transversals. This will be a lesson on this topic, and it's going to take a look at our objectives here. Uh, the first thing is I want to go and define what parallel and skew lines are. And I suspect uh, for most of you out there, this term skew you're probably not familiar with, but um, no big deal. We'll go ahead and define that here for you in a second. And then we want to take a look at something called the transversal, and we're going to define that also. And then we're going to identify some special angles that are formed when a transversal intersects a pair of lines. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into our, our lesson here. And parallel and skew lines. Okay, so if I asked you to, just, to express in your own words or define in your own words what uh, two parallel lines are, um, I would think that you'd probably tell me something that, well, these are two lines that don't cross or never intersect, and you're absolutely correct. So I think most of us have an idea of what um, parallel lines mean, at least conceptually speaking. But in geometry, you want to be a little more specific in our definition. And when we talk about parallel lines, we have to talk about where they reside. Okay, And parallel lines are two lines that never intersect. Okay but are on the same plane. So here I have a little kind of a model of a plane. I guess you could think of it as maybe like a piece of paper that you would rip out of your notebook and put on your table or your desk. Okay, so it's a good way to illustrate what a plane is in math. But um, two lines that are, are on the same plane and never intersect, we call parallel. Okay, so the big thing here is that parallel lines are on the same plane or coplanar. So let me go ahead and give these two lines some names. Maybe I'll call this line L and this line M. Okay. So if I wanted to indicate that these two lines are in fact parallel, I would go like this. L is parallel to M. Okay. So that's the notation or the parallel symbol. Okay. Now here I'm comparing two lines and in indicating that they're parallel. Now it could be two planes or it could be a plane parallel to another line. It doesn't make a difference. Okay. So that's the symbol. Now both parallel and skew lines are lines that never intersect. However, skew lines, unlike parallel lines, are not on the same plane. So if I kind of drew two planes like so, over here and I have a line like so, maybe a line over here like this. Okay, these two lines will never intersect. Why? Because they're on two separate planes. Okay, so skew lines do not intersect because they're not on uh, two planes. So skew lines are non coplanar, okay, not on the same plane. All right, so with that uh, kind of hopefully uh, committed to memory, and that's the big thing. And I'm just going to stress that one more time. Parallel lines have the relationship that they're on the same plane. So really make sure you understand that. Okay. All right, let's move forward. And what I want to do is go ahead and give you a uh, theorem on parallel planes. Okay, so we're talking about parallel lines. Let's go and talk about parallel planes real quick. So here's a theorem about parallel planes. So if you have two planes that are parallel, so here I have a plane, plane A, Okay, and it's parallel to plane B. Kind of think of it once again as uh, maybe two pieces of paper that don't intersect, right? Two different planes. And now those planes are intersected by another plane. Okay, so you have this other plane kind of chopping through these two parallel planes. What's going to happen is this, okay? That plane, in this case, it's going to be plane E, all right, is going to intersect these two parallel planes and form two lines of intersection. Okay, so here I have line L and line M. So these little lines right here are the lines of intersection. So we can state something with a theorem about those lines of intersection. And it goes like this. It goes when plane A is parallel to plane B, okay, as I uh, have in this diagram, and it's cut by another plane, plane E, the lines of intersection in this case, we're calling them L and M, are parallel. Okay, so if you have two parallel planes and some other plane comes around, comes down and chops them, the lines of intersection are parallel. Okay, so L is parallel to M. All right, so you want to go ahead and put that into your notes as a theorem about parallel planes. All right, moving on. 
Okay, let's talk about transversals. So when we're talking about transversals, we're talking about a particular line and a, uh, a line relationships, okay? One line having a relationship with other lines in the same plane. Okay, so I want to stress that now, okay? Same plane. So in other words, they're coplanar, okay? So all these lines reside in the same plane. And a transversal is nothing more than a line that intersects two or more lines. So if I have line L and line M right here as indicated, and then I have this other line T and it kind of chops through it, we call that chopping line or the intersecting line a transversal. And what we're going to look at next is some special angle relationships that um, we want to define. Okay, and I'm going to kind of start doing that right here uh, before we move on to the next uh, section here. In a transversal, when you have a transversal that crosses through two lines, notice there's all kinds of angles being formed. Okay, we have some angles on the inside. Okay, we call these interior angles. Okay, so notice these angles right here. These are called interior angles. And these angles right here are called exterior angles. We're going to really look at these um, interior angles right now. We'll look at exterior, exterior angles later. Okay. We're also going to use this term same side. Okay. Same side angles refer to angles that are on the same side of the transversal. So these angles right here, all right, what I'm highlighting in blue, are same side because they're on the same side or the left hand side of the transversal. Okay. These two are same side angles because they're on the right hand side. Okay. Now they're both same side interior. Okay. Because they're on the same side of the transversal and on the inside of these two other lines. Now, the, the reason why I went ahead and kind of uh, uh, gave you this terminology is because I think it's easier to do that uh, in that diagram. And then specifically, we can kind of uh, describe or define the special angle relationships when you have a transversal cross two of the lines, two or more of the lines. What's going to end up happening is you're going to, you're going to form a few different type of angles. Okay, the first type is going to be called the alternate interior angles. Then we have same side interior angles and something called corresponding angles. Okay, so once again, these interior angles and same side, this is what we just got, got to finish kind of going over. All right, alternate interior angles. This idea of alternate is talking about angles that are on the opposite side of the transversal and on the inside are interior angles. So in this case, it would be angle 5 and angle 4. Okay, so notice here, angle 5, angle 4, opposite side of the transversal, transversal <coughs> excuse me, and interior. All right, so now we also have angle 3 and angle 6. All right, so these we describe as alternate interior angles. All right. How about same side interior angles? Let's see if you can figure those out. Same side interior. Okay, so I'll give you the first pair. Angle 3 and angle 5 we would call same side interior angles. And angle 4 and angle 6 would be another pair of same side interior angles. All right, corresponding angles. Corresponding angles basically have the same relative position. Um, let me just go highlight two corresponding angles and you kind of get the idea. So you see here angle 2 and angle 6, they kind of have the same relative position as far as uh, with respect to the lines in a transversal. So angle 2 and angle 6 is a corresponding angle. So is angle 4 and angle 8. Okay, same corresponding or same relative position. So angle 4 and angle 8. So maybe you can pick up on the other two here. All right, so angle one and angle five are another pair of corresponding angles. All right, and last but not least, we have angle three and angle seven. All right, very, very important terminology here. Um, we're gonna be using, <clears throat> excuse me, these terms quite a bit throughout the geometry. All right, so you really wanna commit these to memories and of course do the practice exercises so you can really master and identify these particular angle relationships. Okay, really, really important stuff here. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. 
So hopefully this wasn't too difficult. So remember, parallel lines are lines that are coplanar. Okay, they're on the same plane, and of course they never intersect. Skew lines are lines that don't intersect, but they're non-coplanar. Okay. So both parallel and skew lines don't intersect. The difference is whether they're on, they're on the same plane or not. Okay, a transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines. And then these angles formed by the transversal and uh, the lines uh, that it's intersecting are these alternate interior, same side interior, and these corresponding angles. All right, so hopefully this wasn't too difficult for you. Once again, geometry... A lot of terms for the most of you, all this is all new stuff. Really, really uh, important that you take good notes and keep your theorems and notes all organized because you'll definitely be uh, referring to them as we proceed. Okay, we'll see you soon.